Hola Scorpios, welcome to your middle of the month reading for March 2019. This is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Rates, info, and email are below. Just send me an email. And also, since it is a general reading, this can be about love, family, friends, finance, business, or a career. Keep in mind my 2019 Sun Moon readings are up in my playlist, so go look up your Sun Moon sign and check those predictions out for 2019. And then also see if 2018 rang true for you because those Sun Moon readings are also in my playlist. Compatibility readings are also in my playlist, so my playlist is just like a little library for you with tons of stuff in it. I'm on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a quick question. I'm also on Facebook and Insta where I upload my weeklies, so let's get to your reading, shall we? Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpios? What are their energies for middle of the month? And this is just, we're just peeking in, seeing what's going on with you. Think of it like a little checkup or alignment. What are the energies? Middle of the month for Scorpios. Energies, middle of the month for Scorpios. You all have the two of fire in the reverse. Can you please show me what are the challenges for Scorpio? What are the challenges for Scorpio? Challenges for Scorpio. Patience in reverse. Huh. Interesting. Okay. And then what advice do you have for Scorpios? Middle of March, what advice? Okay, a full card. And then how will Scorpios be moving forward from this reading? How will Scorpios move forward from this reading? Three of Earth in the upright. Okay, Scorpios, you guys are having, um, with the two of fire here, you're having something going on where something's not happening. You'd like things to move forward a little bit quicker. Um, two of fire is, is about setbacks, and it's usually about setbacks about fear. It's usually about setbacks about the unknown. It's usually setbacks because of mistrust or having trust issues. But whatever it is, things aren't moving forward as a result. You would like them to move forward but they're not moving forward as a result and right next to it um we have the patient's card to reverse which is the card of sagittarius which was telling to me because here's where your challenge is is actually having patience actually waiting um so just because you're having a delay for whatever reason and you could be very much you could be causing your own delay actually here um you know this is kind of telling you um you know, you need to be patient. You have to like find balance. You need to stay calm. You need to find peace, okay? Because if you don't get in a good place, if you don't find that good place for you, it's not gonna come to you, okay? So that's what I think it challenges right now. You guys are, don't wanna wait. Um, it's also, you don't wanna wait, but it's not a frustration of waiting. Okay, it's things not happening. Like I said, because of fears or whatever, but some of you, didn't plan as well as you should have. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. You didn't plan as well as you should have for something and that's why it's not happening, alrighty? There were some details that you should have attended to that you did not attend to. So in a way, for some of you, not all of you, because I don't wanna get ripped up in the comments, this could actually be a little bit of um, your doing or you could be responsible for, for this, okay? Now, advice. They're telling you to take that risk here. They're telling you to take a calculated risk, okay? Telling you to follow your heart's desire if this applies to you. Your advice is to take that leap of faith. Don't let these fears hold you back. Don't let your mistakes hold you back um, or what have you, okay? I know here they're telling you to have patience, but here it's not that they're telling you to move forward quickly with the full card. They're telling you to address whatever is holding you back. So if you're fearful or you have trust issues or you didn't plan right or whatever it was, get those out of the way. This, this is not telling you to kind of jump on it and to be impulsive. I want to make sure that I clarify that because that is not what this is about, okay? They're telling you to stay optimistic, get a fresh perspective on this. Um, if you made mistakes, then put, leave those mistakes behind you and then you will be able to, and also calculated risk means looking before you leap. It's not impulsive. It doesn't say, okay, because I can see you guys being, oh, okay, well now it's telling me to just jump right into it. No, it's telling you to, to make sure to look carefully before you leave that you're going to be committed when you are on this path okay um and to look look at the way ahead with fresh eyes all right three of earth this is where it comes together stuff starts working out 
okay? Because you had patience, because you looked before you left. And I really feel like whatever happened here with the two of fire in regards to your issues, you did learn a lesson from these. And then as a result, it starts working out for you because the three of earth is about something that works out and people notice it you get recognition for it the three of pentacles can be working on love and it ends up working out or working very hard on love but usually this is something where everything's kind of coming together the three of earth to me is cogs that kind of like all the teeth kind of fit in with each other they're well oiled everything's moving very nicely so i feel like moving on from this reading after you had all this happen then it's it's things are actually moving along very nicely at a very nice pace. Not at a quick pace, not at a slow pace, just at a very nice hand over foot kind of pace, okay? A jog, if you will. Um, not a walk, not a walk in the park, and not a sprint, but like a nice rhythmic jog, okay? Um, why is this two of fire here for Scorpios? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the two of fire in reverse for Scorpios? Middle of the month energy is for March. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Two of fire. Personality. Yeah, you're, you're wondering why things aren't moving forward, okay? Um, I can see that you're trying, but it's being met with resistance. Because the, the, the Eight of Wands to me is wanting things to move forward. Forward movement, quick movement, making things happen. But it's not happening. Um, there's conflict going on with this Five of Wands here. There might be other people involved with this. There might be other people kind of preventing things from moving forward. Um, some of you might have a fear of competition, and that's why you're not doing it. You're feel, you, there's other people that, that want what you have, or there's other people that so you're just kind of like, you know, holding back a little bit, worried, you know, maybe having confidence issues or something of the sort. Um, and the two of swords is here. That's something about indecision. So you have two cards of decision here. Um, one is things that are holding you back because of something you did or something internally that is going on with you. It can also be internal conflict, by the way, with the five of wands, but also with the two of swords, you're really not sure what to do. So you, you, you just aren't doing anything. And this is actually preventing you from moving forward. Um, you don't have enough information to move forward. You don't, you don't, you feel like uncertain and you're not really sure. Um, It's weird because I have all these people like kind of like arguing and fighting and having contests over something. And then the two of swords can be about mediation. So I must feel like party, some of you guys are waiting for something to kind of be resolved. The two of fire in the upright can be about waiting on results happening, something being resolved before you move ahead. Two of fire in reverse is saying to me that this is still the still kind of going on. Whatever that is, however that's going to resonate from you, but that's what I was getting. Okay. Why is the Patience card here? You know why it's really kind of weird? <laughs> that in my weekly reading, um, Libra and Scorpio had something that was similar, and now I'm feeling a, a, a little bit of a similar vibe, because I just did Libra, and I'm just and I'm feeling a similar, similar vibe for you guys. Like, there's a connection between Libra and Scorpio here, Either you have Libra in your chart, or with the Libra, there's some kind of connection there. So you might want to look at the Libra readings and check out my weekly too for Libra. Because um, I remember for the weekly, there was interference, somebody interfering, somebody you had to deal with. And that could be somebody in this um, Five of Wands situation here. Why is the Patience card in reverse here for Scorpios mid-month? March, who is this person? What's this energy? Additional messages, please. Okay, King of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, things are not moving, and you're impatient. The King of Pentacles isn't going anywhere. That guy, he's like, mm -mm, I'm not going. I'm fine where I am. Nothing to, it's at a dead standstill with the Knight of Pentacles. It might be might be at a standstill because there's financial there's um, financial problems there's mismanagement of money that's the underlying um, term sometime at the Knight of Pentacles um, practical things were avoided they weren't done remember I was saying about um, details were overlooked some of the mundane things you know the the number crunching whatever that was kind of overlooked that might be uh, some of the delays to this okay somebody oh, wait a minute so. 
The Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, you want to move on from this. Okay, you're trying to move on from this crap. Because this is definitely a setback. I don't get the healing so much. I almost feel like you need to move on from this because the way that it was it was happening before wasn't working. Oh, it's the challenge. So the way you're having a hard time moving on from this. Um and you're having a hard time realizing that the way that you were doing it wasn't working. And you didn't know when to stop investing in it, okay? You didn't, I feel like you guys didn't want to deal with, like, stuff that was, like, boring. I feel like that was part of the problem. Like, it, you didn't want to, you didn't want to do the numbers. You didn't want to look up licenses. You didn't want to, like, anything like that. You just, you didn't want to deal with that. You ever looked at it, you're like, no, I don't want to do that paperwork. And I feel like that's what part of the problem was. That's what kind of stopped this from happening. I'm getting that strongly, like... You didn't, you didn't want to have to do what had to get done because it was just boring and you weren't into that. You didn't want to do it, so you just didn't do it. And that didn't, that didn't end up working out well for you, okay? So the challenge is here you are stuck. You're impatient. You want things to move along, um, but you're stuck because you didn't do something that you should have done. Okay, why is the full card here? Who is this person? What is this energy? So the full card to me is telling you to figure out the different way of doing things. You kept on doing things the same way here. That's what held you up. You might have been accountable. You not, might not have been accountable. You might have overlooked something you should have looked. And the full card is saying the advice is that you guys need to do things differently. So you need to cast off your old ways of doing things. And if there's fears and stuff associated with that, that that's fine. But step out of how you have been doing things and start new ideas, start a new perspective, a new way. Why is the full card here for advice for the Scorpios? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. And I see that they're telling you if you do that, then the reward will be here. Things start working out. And they start working out the way that you want them to work out for you. Yeah, they're telling you to do this because it's holding back opportunities from you. Again, so it's kind of a typical theme. We have the three of wands here saying that you got set back because um, you didn't, you you did not use your efforts as you should have. Um, so that caused a delay for you. That caused setbacks. Caused the setbacks because you didn't have the foresight. There were some details or something. You overlooked something or you just didn't want to deal with something. They're telling you to make a plan. Okay, don't go back to the old way that you did things where you're like, no, I don't have to do that paperwork or, you know, just do that under the carpet. I want to do the fun stuff. I'm not saying that's what it is, but I'm getting like a, a feeling of that. And they're telling you with Ace of Swords, um, stop your old habits that you've been doing. They aren't working for you. They're causing nothing but delays and things for you. Okay, Ace of Swords is start a new way of doing things. Have a plan for when you move forward. Okay, have the clarity now, the mental clarity. Use your mind. You weren't using your mind before for some reason. Um, you weren't thinking logically. You weren't using your intellect. And that's why you ended up not working out. That's why you ended up not succeeding. That's why you didn't end up getting what you wanted to do. Also, for some of you, you were very limited in the way that you were thinking. So you were like, no, it's going to be this way. This is how it's going to get done. I don't want to deal with that paperwork over there. We're just going to do this. We'll do the fun and the creative stuff. We'll get to the paperwork later. Um, that's just an analogy, not like totally what I'm seeing. And they're telling you that doesn't work, okay? And that you need to shed your old ways, especially with the Ace of Swords here and the Fool card. You need to shed your old ways of doing things and totally take a fresh look at how this should be done. The minute you do that, you'll get this Three of Earth. Why is this Three of Earth here for it? how Scorpios will move forward. Three of Earth for how Scorpios will move forward from this reading. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. Three of Earth for Scorpios. For some personality. High Priestess. Okay, and the High Priestess is listening to your intuition and how, how things should be done or how you should have done things. Okay? Um... Listening to your intuition and navigate through this to get what you want, to get things to work like they're supposed to be working. This is letting go of your, because this way wasn't working, or this way is not going to work. All right. The nine of, um, nine of swords for me is, well, and that's why it fell apart. So somebody was really, could have been really defensive, really paranoid. 
really and as a result they took action like maybe that's what kind of drove you to do things the way that you did you were thinking you were going to have opposition you were overly worried about being opposed however however it is with this nine of of wands which is just some of the messages it didn't work out and it fell apart and the tower card fell apart um and for some of you because they're telling you things are going to work well if you use your intuition instead of kind of the way you were doing things because how you were doing things didn't work out very well for you with the tower card but the tower card is here to tell you that things had to fall apart for a reason the tower card um change comes from the tower card and, and you really don't have a choice the universe just kind of came down and blew your tower up and was like nope that's not how it's working so um this is what's going to happen because if you aren't going to change we're going to make you change and I really do think you have an awakening and you have a discovery from this. And then things start vibing. Things start working right. If you recognize, if you go within and kind of admit to yourself what you did wrong and why it wasn't working, then things will start um, vibing as you move along. Okay. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird here, but I don't want to say anything else about that. All right. Um Okay, so if this resonated, consider a personal reading, rates info, email or below, send me an email, and of course you know we can go ahead and work that out. Check out my playlist or basically my library, lots of stuff in there for you guys. And then finally I will see you April for your mid month I mean for your love readings. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.